organization. National values and principles of governance set out core directive precepts whose observance imbues every decision and action with implicit constitutionality to the extent that our plan is aligned with Article 43 the implementation of the bottom-up economic transformation agenda is a program to intensify the actualization of national values with a special focus on citizens at the bottom of the pyramid. From the first day in office, we have worked hard every day to move our agenda forward amid many challenges to forge a path in the direction of progress. This is the essence of our commitment to make progress despite challenges and move forward by overcoming great obstacles. We must never be defined by our problems and Kenya's destiny cannot be derailed by our challenges. Honorable members, the cost of living is not an abstract phenomenon. It is a reality experienced by households which can be addressed through practical action and effective measures. One of the most salient interventions in addressing the high cost of living is the strategy to support agricultural production through the, uh, throughout the sector, ranging from food and cash crops as well as livestock value chains. I am committed to put the shame of hunger behind us once and for all. We rolled out a countrywide farmer registration and fertilizer subsidy program that has made available 5.5 million bags to farmers across Kenya. We have progressively reduced the cost of fertilizer from 6,500 to 2,500, increased maize acreage under production by an extra 200,000 acres this year, and enhanced maize production by an additional 18 million bags this year. As a result of these interventions, today a two kilogram packet of maize flour is selling at a low of 145 and a high of 175, depending on the brand you buy, down from 250 shillings a few months ago. The famous Gorogoro of maize is selling at between 60 and 75. Honorable members, you know how much it costed a few months ago. We have also established 22 new fish landing sites in nine counties in Nyanza and the coast region. We have funded and organized beach management units into cooperatives, set up two hatcheries in Kabonyo in Kisumu County and in Shimoni in Kwale County and we are in the process of completing Liwatoni fishing, uh, fish processing plant in Mombasa by end of next month and Shimoni fish port by the end of next year. Again, to bring our blue economy resources into the realm of food production. To achieve efficiency, transparency and accuracy, in fertilizer distribution, we enrolled farmers on a digital register with accurate details of the location and acreage of their agricultural land holdings. This database enabled us to implement an e-voucher system through which farmers receive their fertilizer consignments for planting and to blessing of maize, tea, coffee, rice, potatoes, cotton, edible oils, sugarcane across the country. Our farmers are the best people to speak about the success of the fertilizer program. Yesterday, I spoke to several farmers in different parts of the country. Ms. Alice Nato, a single mother in a place called Milo in, in Bungoma, told me that the 2,500 fertilizer had doubled the yield in her farm from 52 bags of maize last year to 120 bags of maize this year. Another farmer 
Mr. Albert Mwenye, Mwenye, from Embu, appreciated the impact of fertilizer subsidy had in, in his farm and asked me to work out a way that the fertilizer can be delivered closer to the farmers rather than at the National Cereals and Produce Board of Depo. I assured him that I will work with the governor of Embu and with all governors to actualize his proposal for him and for other farmers who believe the same. But it was Mr. Samuel Chacha of Korea who graphically painted the picture of transformation the fertilizer subsidy has done in his farm with a phrase that struck my mind. He simply told me, Mr. President, Shambayangu in a meta meta. We have made adequate arrangements, including investment in necessary infrastructure to facilitate post-harvest management and to prevent post-harvest losses. 17 certified warehouses jointly managed by the National Cereals and Produce Board and the private sector owners with a combined capacity of 365 metric tons or 4 million 90 kilogram bags have been prepared in the maize growing areas. The National Cereals and Produce Board shall provide a subsidy maize drying service to farmers at a fixed cost, as was announced by the Minister of Kenya Shillings 70 per bag, which is a significant improvement from the previous rate of Kenya Shillings 350 per bag. Yesterday again, the first consignment of the 100 mobile dryers this house facilitated my administration to buy for use by our farmers I announced to you yesterday the first consignment of the dryers docked in the country additionally we are enhancing dairy productivity for better farmer returns the government working with milk processors and I had a long conversation with them in a cool we are mapping the country to ensure coolers are supplied where they are needed. Soon, farmers will be paid based on milk quality, boosting incomes, and they can also enjoy global market access. Our reforms in the coffee sector are bearing fruit, with our farmers set to earn four times advanced pay for their crop from a low of 20 to now Kenya shillings 80, following the allocation of Kenya shillings 4 billion from the coffee cherry fund that was ably facilitated by this house. Coffee reforms regulations will give farmers the necessary representation and weight 